My name is Ben Brandt, and this is a new electronics project of mine that I'm calling the Video Tether. I enjoy making YouTube videos of my various DIY projects, but being a one-man operation has its limitations. If I want a sliding or panning camera shot, I need to be behind the camera to move it back and forth. I also want to do some work with long panning time-lapse video, but I don't have a good way to move my camera at a slow and steady pace. This is where the video tether comes in. When Arduino and Microsoft partnered with Hackster.io to put on the world's largest Arduino Maker Challenge, I applied with this project and was fortunate enough to receive a pre-release version of the new Arduino MKR1000, a small form factor Arduino with built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. I should note that since this is a pre-release version of this board, the commercially available version will probably have a slightly different schematic and or pinout than what you see here. The hardware is relatively simple. To move the camera dolly in a controlled, precise manner, a stepper motor turns a small timing belt pulley to pull on a long length of timing belt, which is attached to the camera dolly. With this configuration, you can adjust the length of your belt and track however you want, and you can connect it to almost any kind of camera slider system. To keep the belt engaged with the teeth of the pulley, a smooth bearing keeps the belt pressed up against the side of the pulley. This can be easily released to feed the belt through by hand. Thanks to the board's built-in Wi-Fi, the tether can be controlled from any computer or mobile device through a web browser. The Arduino is programmed to run a small web server where the user can configure and move the camera with ease, and from a distance if necessary. An added benefit of the web-based user interface is that we don't have to overcomplicate the electronics by adding things like an LCD display or buttons. The software allows you to enter in the exact distance to move and the time it should take to get there. Based on the spacing of the teeth on the timing belt and the number of teeth on the pulley, the software works out the exact speed and distance to move the stepper motor to provide predictable and repeatable movement. In this example, I set the camera to move along the full length of this track and timed it out to take 90 minutes to make sure it was slowly moving until after the sun had set. Now this project is still a very simple prototype, but as a basic proof of concept, I really like it. And it's going to help me make more interesting and engaging videos. It certainly has its limitations and could use a number of new features and improvements, but we'll save those for a future project. So if there's a part of this device that you'd like to see more of in a future video, or a feature you'd like to see added to it in an upcoming video, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Thank you to Arduino and Microsoft for the hardware and the opportunity to build something cool. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos on this project in the future and other projects of mine, click that subscribe button. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at B2Builds. Thanks for watching.